guys, today I'm going to show you how to make some crochet water balloons. These are a fun, quick project, perfect for the summer. And if you make them as a gift or for your Etsy shop or craft fairs, I have some fun tags available in my Etsy shop that you can download and print on your own. Or you can order and I will print and cut them for you and ship them right to your door. So let's get started. For this tutorial, I'm going to use a 9mm crochet hook. A pair of scissors, a large needle, and some blanket yarn. This one is Bernat Blanket Brights. To start your crochet water balloon, start with either a magic circle or a slip knot. If you use a slip knot like I do, make sure that it's the short end that you can pull tight after your first round. So to do that, you cross it over, loop in the short end, and pull up to make a loop. And you'll notice that when you tighten this loop, it'll be the short end you pull to make it tighter. So after you've done that, you're gonna chain two, one, two. Then we're going to work seven single crochets into our first chain. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. After you've done your seven single crochets, you're going to take this short end and you're going to pull your loop tight. To close that circle in the middle. For the second row, we're going to continue with single crochets. We're not going to join with a slip stitch and we're going to work two single crochets into each stitch. So you'll need to mark the beginning of your row. I just use a strand of yarn, place it right on top, right before I start my next row. And we'll do two single crochets into each stitch. Make sure to work your end here in along with your stitches to secure it. So we're working two single crochets into each stitch for a total of 14 single crochets for this row. Good. Now we'll move on to the third row. For the third row, you're going to do one single crochet into each stitch around. So don't forget to mark your row. If you're using a strand of yarn like me, just take the back part of the yarn and just move it forward, marking the beginning of your row. So we'll do one single crochet into each stitch for a total of 14 single crochets in this row. Perfect. We're going to move our stitch marker or strand of yarn back for the next row. We're going to continue one single crochet into each stitch for another three rows. So I'll start that and meet you back at the end of those three rows. Okay, so I've reached the end of my four rows of single crochet. So now we're going to work single crochet decreases along the whole row. For a total of seven single crochet decreases.
Now for this next row, we're going to join with a slip stitch. We haven't done that in previous rows just to avoid a seam, but for this row we, we are going to join. So join here with a slip stitch and we're going to do th chain one. We're going to do three single crochet decreases. One. Two. And we have one extra stitch here. We're just going to do one single crochet there. And we're going to join into that first single crochet decrease. Chain one. And now we're going to work on the part that comes out of the balloon. So now we're going to do two single crochets into each stitch. So we have four stitches from the previous round. We're going to do two single crochets in each for a total of eight. your yarn. Now we're going to do an invisible join. So pull this strand out. You can pull your stitch markers out now. Take your large needle. And to do an invisible join, you find the first stitch of your row, go underneath those bo both of those loops, Pull it, and you're going to join it into the same spot where it came out. So you have two strands back here. I usually just go under both strands. So there's one strand, there's the other strand. I know it's kind of hard to see with this yarn. But just make sure it goes into the same stitch that it came out of. And there you have an invisible join. Can't really notice it as much with this yarn, but. And now, so I usually just somehow knot it right in the beginning here, just to secure it. And then I weave it through the yarn. Cut off the excess. And there you go. You completed a water balloon. Don't forget to check out my Etsy shop for some downloadable tags. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks, guys.